here likes a good sequel? A good sequel. Well, Does anyone not say, like a good sequel? Some how about are, who likes a sequel? Right. Mm. That's where you start. There's danger with a sequel. Exactly. A when good sequel. I'm fine with a good sequel. It's we, the bad sequel. Good point. It was so, really good. I couldn't stand it. We almost had a sequel <laughs> here in the Dan Petro Studios yesterday. If you remember, I think, checking my records about seven years ago, Seton O'Connor, after a, a hard-working oh. shift on the show, decided to buy himself <laughs> a, a, a pizza. Now, Emphasis on himself. I, I'll preface this by mm. Seton goes, anybody want to get in on a pizza order with me? And I said, no, I'm good, because I, I was a bringer. But so Seton went. It's not like I got a large pizza. It's like it's very much it's a, a personal, personal size. It, it, it's actually yeah. like this. They have a one size. I know this place. It's also a thin crust pizza. It's great pizza. This is representative of the pizza Seton ordered years ago, and Todd Fritz saw the pizza sitting <laughs> on Seton's desk. <laughs> And I, that's not an actual picture of the that's looking at the pizza. That's a good shot, though. It's very accurate. He's <laughs> eyeing the personal pizza. <laughs> just a little find. drool, though, in the corner. Todd right? decided to stand up, walk over, take Seton's lunch, and eat it. As he walked up there, he said, that's what I'm talking about, Todd Fritz, <laughs> while eating Seton's lunch. It was, ooh, pizza party. That's what I'm talking about. And Seton goes, go ahead, eat my lunch. And it's then okay, Todd, uh, just go ahead and Todd finished the pizza. Said, said it a little stronger than that, but he uh, made it very clear that he wasn't happy. <laughs> still hasn't replaced said pizza, and here's <laughs> where we are. Yesterday, we almost had a sequel. <laughs> um, I had uh, meatballs the other day, and I had like maybe three or four left over. I love good meatballs. I put them in one of those little star. There uh, were three meatballs. Three meatballs. Over. Thank you. Dan, so you grabbed the meatballs. Uh, I put them in a, a little container and tried to get them. Uh, I was about to get them for lunch. And I went in, it's like, oh, the container's gone. And you're like, oh, they're, I'll let you take over. I thought I heard Paul say, hey, Plenty of leftovers. And then he pulled out a Tupperware and it had, I think, peppers or tomatoes in one right. container and then it had meatballs in there. I'm gonna go, awesome. I don't know what they're left over from. So I filed it away. End of the show. I popped the meatballs into the microwave. That's what I'm talking about. And I, no, it wasn't that. I just went, okay, got some leftovers here. Uh, might as well polish these off. Paulish, the Paulish, the and so Paulie goes, who took my meatballs? Ah, uh, 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 <laughs> don't try it. Who took my meatballs? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, I took your, I took your meatballs. I know, I, I'm I did. I'm gonna stop the story now. And I admit it. <laughs> and we'll play the rest out on that it. That is misrepresenting things. Who took my meatballs? Save it. Uh, Where are my meatballs? Oh. To be fair, Paul, there were four, but by the time you got there, <laughs> no. that's why you're no, confused there were about three. the number. There were three. <laughs> there were three, because I thought, can I polish off three of the Paul? Mm -hmm. Paul. Polish off.